We were working 20 to 60 miles offshore, north northwest of Isla Mujeres. Fairly rough water, and we would go out and basically look for any bird hovering over the ocean. And you could tell based on the way they were tracking that they were following a bait ball, so a ball packed up tight. Down underneath that, you know that there are sailfish that are using their behavior to drive the bait up and pack it tight so they can hunt together. The, the hunting is fascinating to watch. And every time I saw the bait ball situation, it was at different stages. But one day I got to see the whole thing go down and it went like this, where I jumped in the water and there were probably 40, 50 sailfish on a very large bait ball. And they're trying to control it, but these big bait balls are single moving entities that have a lot of power and speed when they move together. And the sailfish have a hard time controlling it. And then I saw these sailfish put their sails down, cut in through the ball and isolate a smaller ball from the main group. It was amazing to watch them hunt with this group behavior now that it was easier for them to manage. And the sailfish would come in and maybe they might be silver or maybe black or they were doing all these different colors, but they would come in, the sailfish would have its sail down, it would fire up and you could actually hear it come up in your ear. The sail came up that fast, kind of like a fan opening. And then when they did that, sometimes they'd flash these wild colors, fluorescent blues and, and oranges and these rust colors and you know, they're trying to throw the bait ball to confuse them all the time because a bait ball sardines or herring or whatever bait fish is very effective at moving together so if the sailfish can keep them all confused one sailfish would come in put its bill inside the ball as deep as it could and do this cutting side to side motion and you could hear it underwater you could hear that as they're cutting the sardines and they're sometimes they'd be decapitated or cut in half but usually they would just wound them and wear them down and this could go on for two or three hours where they just kept controlling it not letting it dive weakening it and then they would go through and they would cut and try and isolate one and grab it and then eventually after this went on for a couple of hours you could see the ball get really tired and start to move slower and they would move in a vortex just on their own axis at the surface it's like they had given up at this point and then the sailfish came in and just a big mass of frenzy just whoosh, and the ball would be gone and these fish are behaving much more like mammals as if I'm watching a pod of orca hunt they seemed intelligent, it seemed calculated. It was one of the greatest surprises that I've ever had in the ocean.